Hey there, everybody. This is Streets Bitsley here, and um, I'm about to make something really cool for you all. Um, I'm going to teach you all how to make peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And you can basically make it any way you want, but in this video, I'm going to show you all how I made it when I was a kid. So he right here, I have a bag of bread here I'm about to open, along with peanut butter and the grape jelly. And um, when I when I was a kid, I always put peanut butter on the left and jelly to the right, so prepare to be amazed. All right, cool, that's the first step. Step two is coming right up. All right, cool, now for step two. Let's spread the peanut butter and the jelly onto the sandwiches. What I did as a kid was I would, I would put the peanut butter on the left and I would put the jelly on my right. All right, for step three, what you wanna do is take a knife and just wanna, you'll wanna spread the peanut butter all over the bread and just, now get get some peanut, yep, and get, just wanna spread it real nice and smooth until it get, get as much of it as possible. Cause you know, you wanna have as, you wanna make sure that you have enough peanut butter for your sandwich. So get more peanut butter and get the whole area of the bread. Just make sure you get the edible part of the bread cause, you, cause I don't think you'd wanna get the crust unless you want to eat from the crust, which most cases you probably won't, but if you do, go ahead, be my guest. But um, this is, now remember, you can make a PB, you, you can make your, if you, but now remember, you can make your own PB, PB, you can make your own peanut butter and jelly sandwich any way you want, but the way I'm showing you all is the, is the way I used to make peanut butter and jelly when I was a kid, so and this is the way I did it. So just want to make sure that, Cover up all the that parts of the bread. And then get more peanut butter. Then now for the second part of the left side of the bread. Do the same thing as the top. Because I think this should apply for both the peanut butter and the jelly. When you're applying the when you're doing the second bread, you should probably you'll probably want to do this spread it around the same way you did it on the first one. So here's this is how you do it. This is how you do it. So now that that's done, I've got the peanut butter. I've got, so I think as of now, I've got both peanut butter sandwiches on, on the left side here. Now, now for step four, for step four, when you're done, make sure that you, that you, um, make sure you close the peanut butter jar nice and tightly. And make sure that you put it away nicely back in the same place where you got it from. And then put the peanut butter knife in the sink. Okay, so we are halfway there. Just at least a few more steps. So for step five, put on put the jelly on put onto the right. So what I'm gonna wanna do is gonna get, get this open and ready so I can just get the jelly whenever I need it. See? Want to be careful here. Just want to now get the, get the jelly and and just spread it all around the bread area. Make sure you you know get make sure you're putting it on the edible parts of the bread, and not the crust. Unless you want to eat it again, that is up to you. But do the same thing I did with the peanut butter, except this time I put the jelly on. So uh, hold on, let me as I put more jelly on. What you can also do here is just take the jelly and then. Take what you've got so far and just spread it all around. Now just take, now get, now take the jelly and get the whole area. Make sure that you just get the eating part. Like I said, you probably don't, probably won't want to aim for the crust, but if you want to, that's up to you. No judge, I'm not going to judge. I'm just going to, but I would just recommend not spreading it around the crust because messes get everywhere. But yet, yet, let's make sure the jelly's still out in reach before I put it away in, in, in case I need more jelly. So, um, so, um, the more jelly you put on your sandwich, the better it'll taste. Trust me, believe me. Like I said, just get, take the jelly and just spread it all around and just be careful with it. Oh, about that. There is the jelly.
Once again, take all the jelly you've got and get the whole area. Just get the, make sure you want to get all the edible area covered, you know, because messes get everywhere. And also, I have autism, and so therefore, I don't, I won't tolerate any negative comments or any kind of feedback on my channel whatsoever. So, if you really don't have anything nice to say to me or or my channel, that's fine. Just don't, don't comment, don't put, don't post it in the comments in any of my videos on my channel, because I will remove it. So, please be careful what you say to me or and or on my videos when you're watching my channel, because my channel is to make you guys happy and entertain. We're gonna make BB and J because find out how I can be independent. Voila! I will get to the final step in just a second. All right, now for step six, do the same thing to the jelly knife like you like you did to the peanut butter knife. Put it in the sink. Try to wash it out a little bit. You know the the jelly knife should probably the jelly should go off a little easier. Because jelly can get off a little more quicker than the peanut butter. And then, and then, um, make sure to put the jelly away in the fridge or any, or the same place you put it back from. So, oh, and make sure the lid's closed on tight too. Because you don't, because again, messes can get everywhere. And, um, if you take, if you see any napkins, just clean up any messes in the area. Just clean, make sure to get the whole table area cleaned off. Make sure I don't want to see any red or gold or whatever color peanut butter is. You don't want to see any of that. Again, this is step six. Okay, you see some jelly. Clean that off. Just one second. I will be right back with you guys with the with with step seven at also which is also going to be the last step. And now for the seventh and final step, take your sandwich, take your sandwich or sandwiches anywhere that you want to eat, anywhere you want to eat it, and you're all good to go and and enjoy it and. Very last and part is besides, you know, make sure to have a napkin and enjoy. So enjoy the video and thank you all for watching.